In today's video, we are going to talk about the Sony ZV-1, which is my C camera that I use mostly for vlogs. And I'm going to tell you what I think about the body, the lens, the microphone, the flip screen, the battle life, should you shoot in 4K or 1080p, but I'm also going to introduce you to some accessories that you might need. Let's jump into the video. Hey, hey, and welcome back on the channel. If you're new here, we talk about filmmaking gear, the creative process, and how to become a content creator. So if you want to launch your business, whether it's online or with real clients, well, you are in the right place. So you can consider subscribing, ringing the bell, liking the video to support the channel. And if you have any comments, any questions, put them in the comment section down below, and I'm going to answer to it right away in the comment section in the next video, or maybe in the next newsletter episode. But Let's talk about the Sony ZV-1. The Sony ZV-1's body is small and compact, which makes it super, super easy to use or because you can slide it in any bags, in your pocket and in any places because you don't have a viewfinder, which could be a con if you're making photos. Well, this camera can be in any situation and as you can see, it's still stable. So you can drink your pina colada while this camera is recording your nice videos. The Sony ZV wants better on small because it's a small camera and I see you coming. Max, we want big buttons like the Sony A7S III. Well, this camera costs 800 bucks and the purpose is completely different. But you have to know that they are all well placed and they are pretty easy to understand at the same time. So you can manage it with just one hand and change all the settings with just one hand. I can't do that with the A7S III. Next on the list, the Sony ZV-1 flip screen. Look at that. You open it, turn the camera on, you flip it, you're ready to vlog and to shoot everything you see. So I love this tiny flip screen because it's clear, it's the same size as the A7S III's and A7 IV, but it's not a touch screen. But I'm not a big fan of touch screen, I don't know what you think about that, but when you touch the, the touch screen, well, it's going to make it all dirty and then you're not going to see anything on it. So not a big fan, but it's bright, compact, and you, you have this nice filter that turns it on and turns it off without touching any buttons. Hey, so let's talk about the Sony ZV-1 microphone. It's in the camera, you can see it. It's pretty good if you have some windy days because you know, we love wind, but the microphone, mm, they don't love wind. So we have a dead cat, you can slide it. This dead cat is furnished with the camera. But if you want a better sound quality, because this is an omnidirectional microphone, which means it's going to take the sound all around the camera, which is good and not good. You can upgrade and put a bad boy like the Rode VideoMic Pro, because you have an input just right here. And actually I made a video comparing the sound quality of the Sony ZV-1, the Sony ZV-1 with this bad boy and another microphone. The sound quality of this microphone is pretty good. If you know how to edit, well, this camera again is a beast in terms of audio. I know you can't see me, but welcome on manual focus mode. This is the Sony ZV-1 battery and this is the A7 III and A7 IV battery. This costs 80 bucks, this costs around 30 bucks. This is thin, this is thick, this is going to last you one hour if you shoot in 4K, this is going to last about two hours and 30 minutes if you shoot in 4K. It's time to give you some tips about those batteries. The, the first tip is to have a dual charger. If you have a dual charger, you're gonna be able to charge two times more battery in one time, which is normal. The second tip is to have four batteries. Now you're gonna be able to shoot with two batteries, charge two batteries, use two batteries, etc., etc. And the third tip is to have an external battery charger. All the links are down below if you want to check. But now I'm going to be able to take this battery to, to put, to charge the Sony ZV-1. So I'm going to show you that it's charging and I'm going to be able to click, turn it on. And I'm going to be able to do endless time lapses, endless videos. I love it. Tell me in the comment down below, which tips is the best? Is it the dual charger, the four batteries, or the big external battery? I prefer the big external battery. This is the 24 to 70 G Master F 2.8, 2500 bucks. And this is the Sony ZV-1 with the 24 to 70 F 1.8 to 2.8. Look at that, like this is 800 bucks. This is 2500 bucks. This again 
is the best. And I see you coming in the comments. But Max, it's not a full frame camera, so you can compare it. Excuse me, it's a Sony ZV-1 2470 f1.8 to 2.8 with a maximum aperture of f11. Excuse me, this is a beast. It's small, it's sharp, it's versatile. f1.8 permits you to shoot in low light situation without any problem. So I love it, but you have to be careful because it's fragile. Everything is outside. If you drop it on the ground, you can break it. So be careful. Another thing that's pretty awesome, this camera has ND filters integrated in it and it's automatic. You don't have to do anything it's too bright you got f11 still too bright put any filters on it and then you're gonna be able to put your aperture lower so you have this nice bokeh even though you're outside because i love keeping stuff simple i don't have too many accessories on the sony zv1 i don't have the case to have a big grip and all that kind of stuff but i think that the 24 to 70 is a bit too tight so this is why i have the ulan dw l1 this costs 50 bucks so it's not expensive at all you just have to glue the, the adapter and then screw the and then and then screw the adapter and now you don't have a 24 to 70 but you have a 16 or 18 millimeters to begin with so this is just perfect if you want to vlog because now it's going to be wide you're going to be able to see what's happening around me second secret about the Ulan zw l1 is that if you unscrew the first part now your sony zv1 is going to be a macro beast you know what i think you can sell stuff with the sony zv1 if you want to get this fantastic wr1 from new lens everything is set down below there's a link for the zv1 the u lens and everything you need to do your best vlog so now 4k or 1080p well why do you want to shoot in 4k like it's taking so much space and it's just for youtube why do you want to shoot in 4k well, I'm shooting in 4K, and you, you know, you can crop in, you can fix all the details, and even though it's for YouTube, I want to have the best quality uh, for my content. Well, this is true with the Sony ZV-1, with the Sony a7S III, with every camera shooting in 1080p, well, you can save a lot of space. So if you don't need to shoot in 4K, you can shoot in 1080p. But shooting in 4K, well, you're more flexible at the same time, because if you need to crop in, you're not going to lose quality but what's nice with the sony zv1 is that you're able to shoot in 4k and 10 adb you're gonna have some restrictions if you go in higher frame rates if you want to shoot at 1000 frame per second with the sony zv1 you can if you're thinking about getting the sony zv1 or if you already have the sony zv1 in your hand well i hope this video helps you a lot don't forget to click on the like button to support the video and the channel. Subscribe and ring the bell for future videos. And if you have any questions, well, it's going to be down below in the comments. It's going to be a pleasure for me to meet you and answer you back. I'll leave you with two other videos where I test the Sony ZV-1 audio and with different mics. And another video, I don't know what I'm going to put. But anyway, just go watch it. This one or this one. Ciao.